Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Now today I'm playing around with something from the hardware store on my gel press plate. Now this thing will make wonderful little lines. It will make lots of them all at once. They'll be thin little lines. And so you might be wondering, what is this thing from the hardware store that does it? It's a dryer vent. Yep, this thing here, the thing once a year you clean the lint out of, well, it makes a fantastic gel printing tool. Come and join me and see how. I'm gonna start out by putting three colors of paint here on the eight by 10 gel press plate. And as you can tell, there's a little bit of blue on there. That was from the last time I was printing and I'll leave little bits of paint on there. Doesn't bother me one bit. And you'll also see little bits of that paint show up in the print that I pulled too. So that's where it came from. Now I'm gonna put the three colors on here and just brayer them on so that I've got the whole plate covered. I'm cleaning the brayer off in between each color. That way the color stays pure the way it is right here. And yeah, I really want that color pure at the moment, but it's not gonna be pure for very long once I bring in that dryer vent. There is nothing special about this dryer vent. If you've got anything like this, any kind of dryer vent, any kind of expandable tubing, that kind of stuff from the hardware store, it will do this. What I'm doing is simply rolling it back and forth. I'm just going here to there and there to here. I'm also not using much pressure. Just the weight of the dryer vent is doing it for the most part. I've just got my hands in there to easily roll it and quickly roll it because I'm impatient. When you're doing this, you can roll it as little or as much as you want. I'm really liking how it looks with a lot of the rolling happening right now. So I get lots of those little lines in there. So I'm doing quite a bit of it. Once you like how the paint looks, then simply grab a piece of paper and take the pull. Now the paper that I'm using here, this is a 90 pound cardstock and not for any very specific or special reason other than I like how this paper feels. I like the 90 pound weight. Some people love a thinner paper. It's not that there's a right or wrong answer when it comes to this gel printing thing. It's about enjoying yourself and using what you like. So whatever kind of paper you like using, absolutely use that. So here's the first pull. I've got all those little lines, the colors moving around on there, but there's more because not only do I have this print, there's a ghost print waiting on here. Ghost prints are some of my favorite to take because they're very unexpected. I never know exactly what I'm gonna get. It's kind of like it's a wild card factor and I love that there's that surprise every time I lift up a ghost print. When I'm printing, my ghost prints are often my favorites and this is no exception. Now, what about you when you're printing? Do you tend to like your first print or your ghost print more? Let me know down in the comments. Well, I'm gonna try the same technique, but change up the colors a little bit. Last time I did warm colors, this time I'm gonna do some cool colors. I'm playing in a turquoise and blues and greens. This bright blue that I just put down, that is a heavy body paint. It's considered an artist grade paint. The other two that I used were Liquitex Basics. And so what was the big reason why one was that heavy body and the other two were the Liquitex Basics? Well, the big reason is the color. I wanted that bright blue on there, so that's why I chose to use that paint. It's no more complex than that with me. It's just, I like the color, so that's the one I'm gonna use. So I encourage you, whatever colors you like, whatever kind of acrylic paints they are, go ahead and use them on the plate. See how they all work together. Now, not only is this thing fun to use on a gel plate, it's also a little fun to get it at the hardware store when as you're wandering through the aisles trying to look for just the right tools and textures to use on a plate, and by the way, there are tons of them in the hardware store, and some very helpful employee there comes up to you and says, what can I help you find? When you say, well, I'm looking for some patterns to use for gel printing, the look on their face every time is pretty much priceless. This isn't the only way you can use a gel press plate. There are lots of different ways you can use them. 
And if you're looking for more ideas, be sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you'll know as soon as we've got a new video out. And of course, check out all the videos already on this channel. There are loads and loads of ideas and inspiration waiting for you. The greens and yellows on this are really giving me a kind of bamboo type vibe. Let's wrap this video up with one last ghost pull here. If you've had fun and enjoyed this video, I'd so appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey. Thank you.